When it comes to news, there's more than one way to produce the headlines. Although every newsroom aims to deliver fast, factual content to their readers, the processes that drive news production can differ greatly between organizations, and sometimes even within them. We built Superdesk, our award-winning open source newsroom management software, to compensate for this variety. Once you're up and running on Superdesk, configuring your own customized newsroom workflow, the steps that determine how a piece of content is planned, created, and published is easy. I'm Greg from Source Fabric, and in this video, I'll show you how to create a basic content creation pipeline to give your journalists and freelance contributors the rights they need to draft and submit content, and the structure your editors need to organize and manage the publishing process. After logging in, the first thing you must do, if you haven't already, is create user roles and profiles for your team. To do that, I recommend checking out the blog post and video explainer we have linked in the description below. With user roles and profiles set, you now need to create a content profile. This is the basic organizational principle around which all content in Superdesk is organized. Data in content profiles feed story templates, the basic building blocks of a Superdesk content item. To create your new content profile, go to the Settings tab accessible via the Hamburger menu at the top left of the Superdesk workspace. Click Settings, and then select Content Profile. Click the Add New button to create a new profile. Now, name your content profile and give it a description. What you name it should be reflective of your editorial workflow needs. For instance, if you publish a lot of breaking news, you'll need a breaking news content profile and template. We'll use that label for this demonstration. Toggle both the Active button and the Editor 3 button to the On position. The Active button makes your content profile visible in the system, while the Editor 3 button establishes the latest version of the Superdesk Editor tool as the default. More on Editor 3 can be found via the link below. Next, you need to select the metadata fields that will populate the content template. For example, if we look at our standard news template in SourceFabric's instance of Superdesk, header options include the tenant, or website that we will publish to, the slug line, keywords, and authors. In a new content profile, you can select from a number of pre-populated fields, such as genre, place, and priority. To move them around or to delete them, simply drag and drop, like this. By clicking the required box, you're denoting that a piece of content cannot be published without this field of metadata added. The order denotes where the specific field will appear in the content template, while the length and width are simply dimensions for the widget. You can leave those fields with default settings. Now, repeat step 4 for the content fields. Finally, choose the widgets that will appear on the right side of the content template. For instance, the tick boxes, including info, translations, and comments, correspond to the selections on the right side of the article template. To learn more about these great features, such as versions, history, and comments, check out the Superdesk user manual. A link to the Superdesk manual is in the video description below. After saving your new content profile, click on the Templates tab at the bottom left of the Settings page. There should be a template with the same name of the just created content profile. Double check that there is. If not, go back to the Content Profile page and fill in any omitted fields. Now it's time to create your desks. This is an organizational concept that draws from desks in a traditional newsroom, like business, sports, or arts and life. But the desks in your version of Superdesk should reflect your unique workflow. So if your editorial team publishes to multiple blogs or internal communication channels, name your desks using terminology that apply, like main blog. To create a new desk, click on the Desks button in the Workflow section of the Settings menu. Then choose Add New. Here you need to give the desk a name, a description, and a source for user-created articles. These names can be anything, it's up to you. What's important to know is that the source for user-created articles will be one way to search for articles in Superdesk after they're published. Now, decide whether content created in the system will be automatically deleted if it goes unpublished for a predetermined amount of time. Next, choose whether you want this desk to have authoring rights or production rights. In Superdesk, you can create custom access for users based on privileges. For more on user roles and user management, see the link in the short description below the video. For this demonstration, we will select Production. Select the default content template and the default content profile. In both cases, we will choose the breaking news template that we created earlier. 
You now need to create stages for the desk. These are the steps through which a piece of content will travel. Default options include incoming, denoting content either submitted by outside contributors or via an ingest feed, like an RSS, working, which is the stage where writers and editors develop content, and desk output, where content that has been published is stored. Use the default settings for stage details. With those steps complete, you've set up a basic editorial workflow. Let's now take a look at this in action. Return to the Superdesk workspace and click the Create New button in the bottom right of the page. Now search for your template and select. Complete the metadata fields, add some sample text, and hit Save. To finish up our test, we'll send the piece of content to the For Approval stage and tag a colleague who will be editing the piece. And there you have it. With that, we've just created and tested your new workflow in Superdesk, the digital newsroom for modern news teams. I'm Greg from SourceFabric. Thanks for watching.